a useful delineation of sinusitis could be to think in terms of how long the infection has been present. So you have your acute stage, you have your, what we might think of as subacute, and then you have your chronic infection. So acute, we would say something, you know, for under four weeks, um, subacute would be four to 12 weeks and chronic would be 12 plus weeks. Um, you can have, uh, a different types of pathogens can cause sinusitis. So this is not just something that accompanies viral infections such as the common cold or influenza, which very commonly sinusitis accompanies that, right? Whereby you've got the stuffy nose, the runny nose, um, very common symptoms with uh, the common cold or influenza. Those would be viral. Um, typically, the more acute sinusitis are associated with that, right? Just like I thought, I was like, oh, it's just a common cold, not a big deal. Um, subacute, we're going to be looking more into that transitioning from a viral infection into a bacterial infection. And this is where it's very common to see where symptoms will go away for a little bit, which is essentially the viral, uh, the viral infection departing, but then uh, the symptoms reemerge stronger and more intensely with more vigor. And that's typically when the bacterial infection sets in. 